What's up, everybody? I am really excited to give you guys this shoe review on Braden Hoban's first signature shoe from America, the Hoban. And I'm not even too sure if there is another pro out there that's like up and coming that actually deserves a pro model shoe more than this dude. Let's face it, man, the kid can flip into any grind down anything. He does flipping grinds down the biggest handrails. He can kick, flip, crook anything you want and he can impossible nose grind on command. This shoe features a triple stitch toe cap and quarter panel for increased durability, a rolled toe cap edge for long lasting flick protection, an optional layered lace protection, the America Impact shock absorbing insole for enhanced impact protection. Okay, that's new. I'm used to hearing about a G6 insole, but that is new. Double wrap vulcanized construction for durability and support, tongue straps and heel anchor system for a locked in fit, a 400 NBS rubber outsole, whatever that means, and a custom welded G detail on the inside of the shoe for signature flair. It is his catchphrase, or at least that's what it says on their website. But there is a lot of new stuff in this shoe that I am interested about that America hasn't offered before. For one, whatever that M-Pact, E-M-P-A-C-T, shock absorbing insole is, I'm excited to try it. The G6 was pretty good, but hopefully this one ups the game just a little bit. It's actually a dope looking shoe. This is how I want a skate shoe to look. It's like slim, it looks like you got great board feel, there's great flick protection. I am someone who's definitely gonna take advantage of the optional layered lace protection. I friggin' hate having to replace my shoelaces, so. I like the overall design of it. I feel like this shoe is gonna skate good, but there's only one way to find out. You guys know how I run my shoe reviews by now, and if you don't, I don't just skate a shoe for like a day or two, I'll skate it for like a month or a few weeks or however long it takes for the shoes to get worn out. And then I'm gonna tell you guys what I actually think about the shoe's performance over time at the end of the video. All right, so I just put the Hobans on for the first time and they do have arch support, which I am not used to feeling in a pair of Americas. Usually, I'm not gonna lie, their shoes kind of feel pretty flat. I'm not sure if I like arch support, but they feel like they're made for somebody who has knee problems and back problems, and I have both, so they actually feel really great. These are some of the more comfortable shoes I've actually worn from America. So I'm stoked on that. I'm going to put them to the flat ground test right now just to see how the flick is. And we all know new shoes is usually a pain in the ass for the first couple kickflips. So So I don't know about you guys, but whenever I have new shoes on, the flick for like the first day is always just like a little bit too grippy, but the board feel is like top notch. I am excited to see how the flick improves after I get rid of like that new shoe grip. However, I think the real question with these shoes is, are they going to make me kickflip crook better or not? And I have the perfect spot to test this out at, so let's roll over there. Listen, man, I'm not usually one for believing in juju, but that was the best kickflip crook I've ever done at this spot. Maybe it's got something to do with like my confidence level going up because I'm wearing Braden Hoban's shoe. I'm like, oh yeah, I could kickflip crook just like him. The best kickflip crooker in the entire world. Day one of me skating the shoe, I think it's far too early for me to be like making a solid opinion about the shoe. However, 
after day one, like putting on a brand new pair of shoes, I gotta say, breaking them in really wasn't all that bad. They felt natural from the rip. So far, so good. But I am interested to see if my opinion changes after like a few more days or weeks or whenever these shoes wear out. We'll see. So I unboxed and skated these for the first time on October 3rd, and today is November 3rd. So it's been exactly a solid month that I've been skating the Hobins. And I gotta say, like a full month to be using the shoe, that's longer than my average lifespan. And I usually go through a pair of shoes in about two to three weeks. Sometimes, like if I'm skating all day, every day, I'll go through a pair of shoes in a week flat. So for shoes to last me a solid month, that says something about like the overall construction and strength, the durability of the shoe. Granted, like right now we're heading into like the autumn winter season. So there were a couple days this month that the weather was just unskatable, but these shoes have been through the ringer with me, man. I've been to skate parks. I've been skating crusty street spots. I'm still filming for another part for Madrid. So it's not like I was just like tinking around in these shoes at the skate park every day. The board feel in these shoes are top notch. 10 out of 10 board feel, even right off the rip. Like when you first put them on the first session, the board feel is immaculate. And let me show you guys some of the damage on these shoes from the past month. I am goofy footed, as you could tell. The triple stitch threading on the shoes held up very well. They're not actually all the way through there. As you could see, there's still some flicks left in these. And here, my favorite feature in the shoe, the shoelace guard here. This thing held up way better than I thought too. You can see some really clear wear and tear here on the inside, but it did its job. These shoelaces are still intact. This one's almost on its way out up here, but these are still intact, man. I did not have to replace my shoelaces once, which was like a dream come true for me because like I said in the beginning of this video, that is something that I very much so find super inconvenient and don't like doing often. I don't like changing my shoelaces. It's annoying. Like I, I just want to go and skate. <laughs> and there's a bit of wear here on the heel. I have a tendency of dragging my heel when I stop. So that happens to me. And that's kind of the only part of the shoe that is completely blown out as of right now. Something else that really drew me to this shoe was the new insole. I don't know if that new insole is like permanently going to have that arch support in the shoe, but I really loved having that come stock in Americas. You know, obviously you can go buy an insole with arch support and put it in any shoe. And my go-to shoes from America are usually the Pillar, the Provost, or the Dixon. And I'll ride them with the G6 insole inside, but I'll be honest, sometimes I do want to go get new insoles and put them in. These are hands down the most comfortable Americas that I've worn to date. And I haven't got to say this in a while. I haven't said this since the review I did on the pillar, but I'm very sure that the Hobins are going to be my new go-to. 10 out of 10. I love this shoe. And if you've made it this far in the video, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Every like, comment, and share is greatly appreciated. It helps me make more videos more often. And I do still upload at least once a week. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Get out there, go skate, go buy a pair of the Hobins. You won't regret it.